Hi, I'm Mary Huffman from Marsh & Marsh Real Estate Services. I've been in the business almost 20 years and I've always wanted to buy a rental property and I just recently bought my first one. So if you're thinking about doing the same, I'm hoping my experience will help you. I um, chose to buy single family homes because I know they could be uh, sold quickly if put on the market. So that's why I'm choosing three bedrooms, one car garage or more single family homes. Um, I looked for the rental market uh, in a certain area to see what the rents were going for. I checked Zillow and I asked my colleagues as well to see what their apartments were renting for. So I uh, found a house that was uh, needed a lot of cosmetic work. It uh, had a lot of major components already finished, like roof, siding, windows, things like that. And uh, so I, I put an offer in. I made it contingent upon um, getting pre-settlement possession and uh, getting 2% seller assist. That's all the, the bank will allow the seller to give you if you're owner not owner occupying the property. Um, and I also asked for permission to, to be able to find a tenant before I close. So uh, I put it on Craigslist and the MLS, found a tenant through Craigslist. I joined the apartment association. I got a credit check um, and had them sign a lease. And I made it contingent upon me buying the property. I didn't want the seller to have a tenant when they didn't want one and they wanted to sell it. So uh, I made it contingent upon me getting the mortgage. So uh, um, we uh, closed on the property. I, since it was in the city of Erie, I had to register the home with the city of Erie because there's mandatory inspection. It, uh, it worked out really well. I, I ended up getting a rental deposit of $925. My payment is less than $500. And uh, I'm also offering uh, pets to be to stay on the property, but uh, those deposits are non-refundable. So um, it was a good experience. Uh, before I bought it, I did run the numbers through an APOD, which is an annual property operating data sheet, uh, to check the income and expenses to see if this was made sense financially. So, so if you were looking to add to your financial portfolio with rental properties, please give me a call at 814. 4906698. I know it's a scary thing. I didn't do it for 20 years because it's scary. I don't know what's going to happen with a tenant. But if you, you're going to get the negative phone calls. And if you can't handle it or don't want to do it anymore, put it in the hands of a property manager um, or sell it. You know, it's, a, it's that simple. So uh, uh, if you need help, please give me a call. I'd love to work with you. Thank you.